If you were an avid television watcher during the 70s and 80s, then this face should be a pretty darn familiar one. Yep, we're talking about Morgan Fairchild today. In this video, I'm going to provide a brief look back at Morgan's career, and then I'll provide an update regarding what she's been doing lately. Truthfully, I can't remember the first time that I saw Morgan Fairchild on TV, but I'm quite certain it wasn't on the daytime soap opera Search for Tomorrow, where she played a character named Jennifer Phillips from 1973 to 1977. Instead, I think it might have actually been on Happy Days, Airing during the show's fifth season in 1977, this episode titled My Fair Fonzie had Morgan guest starring as a snobby upper crust kind of gal who was out to make the Fonz look foolish. It is also entirely possible that it may have seen her on an episode or two of Love Boat. And she was also on Mork and Mindy for a while as a recurring character. And this was all really before she hit it big, before she really stepped into the spotlight. Soon, Morgan went from guest starring in TV shows to being the headliner in weekly shows like Flamingo Road and Paper Dolls. She also starred in the theatrical motion picture The Seduction. While Rotten Tomatoes calls this film a grade Z erotic thriller and says that the performances by Fairchild and her co-star Andrew Stevens were subpar, this didn't stop the movie from becoming very popular at video stores during the 80s. Yep, the seduction is a true guilty pleasure. So, before the internet, another way to gauge just how famous a celebrity was would be to go to your grocery store and scan the covers of the magazines near the checkout. And as you might expect, back then Morgan graced hundreds of covers. Of course, back in the day, the greatest honor of all was to be on the cover of TV Guide, and Morgan was given that specific honor multiple times during her career. Wait, did I say the greatest honor of all? There is perhaps one thing even more awesome than being on the cover of TV Guide. And that, my friends, is to be in a Pee Wee Herman movie. Seriously, folks, this is the pinnacle. Where do you go from here? There really isn't much more to accomplish once you've starred in a movie with the great one. So, what has happened since then? Well, the truth of the matter is, is that Morgan really never left us. That said, her work hasn't always been on screen. Throughout the late 80s and early 90s, Morgan used her fame to become an early celebrity advocate in the fight against AIDS. Throughout her career, Morgan has never been shy about making her voice heard when it comes to the things that are most important to her. And like I said, Morgan really never left the small screen. For as long as I can remember, she's been a welcome presence on shows like Friends, as well as the comedic spy drama Chuck. In 2012, Morgan was signed to host a show on the Lifetime Network titled Baby Boomers in America. Being a baby boomer herself, Morgan's partnership with the show made a lot of sense, and quite frankly, the show was not only informative, but a lot of fun to watch. In 2014, Morgan made an appearance on CNN to celebrate the life of Robin Williams, who had recently passed away. Ever articulate and really good at telling a story, she talked about the very first time that she saw Williams while he was filming an episode of Happy Days and how her agent had told her not to take the part on Mork and Mindy. According to Fairchild, she told her agent, Robin Williams is a genius. I'd work with him for free. Even more recently, in 2017, Morgan returned to her soap opera roots by joining the cast of Days of Our Lives for 17 episodes as a character named Angelica Devereaux. Morgan is also extremely active on Twitter with over 100,000 followers. Morgan likes to do a lot of retweeting, so if you choose to follow her, you definitely get a sense about what's going on in her mind right now. You might be surprised to discover that the things that concern her have less to do with Hollywood and focus more on the tumultuous world that we live in. And Morgan's tweets and retweets on Twitter haven't escaped the notice of other journalists. In fact, a few years ago, the Daily Beast wrote an article about Morgan's insightful tweets calling her a badass foreign policy wonk and saying that her Twitter posts are some of the best sources for consistently reliable foreign policy information and analysis. And this year, Morgan once again returned to the world of soap operas, this time appearing in Logo TV's pilot for a new show called Melange. As you can see, Morgan stays very busy. 
while maybe not in the spotlight in exactly the same way that she was during her 80s heyday, she is still relevant and extremely active despite the fact that she recently celebrated her 70th birthday. What? Did I just say that? Holy cow, that's amazing. So that's it. One more picture. I've got to go back to a high point in Morgan's career. One of my favorite movies of all time. A classic made even better by Morgan's tongue-in-cheek performance near the end of the film. All right, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.